And my goal is to make sure his knee does not get inside my leg. And even though he's here defending well, when I feel that the opponent choose a side, that's when he turns to the side. I put my foot here, go ahead. <coughs> have to do much over here. All I do is to bring the leg that he turns the side and I bring my foot to his butt. Now he has no room to move. The back leg just makes sure it's close to the hip. I let him burn out a little bit and once he stops moving I follow up to control his arm. Anytime he turns to the side, look, the foot on the butt and there. Mm -hmm. And now to give him a little more challenge in this that this way. Now look where my knees are. Now any attempt of escaping, he will expose his elbow. Nobody, when you start training Jiu-Jitsu a long time, will do this. This is first day of class. All I need is somebody's elbow to be out. That's where the armbar comes from. I need this hook. Okay? This is what I need. The elbow up. Very rare. Somebody stretch their arm. And I see sometimes people push their arms, people still fighting. No, keep pushing, thank you. Then you go and get the arm. Don't fight the arm, let the person stretch the arm. All right? I like you guys to get that feeling. I'm out, okay? He turned his body on that side, foot touch the hip, the back leg just stay in contact with his lower back. Letting him push as much as he wants. Then if I get a little more me to him, cross face, slide your knees forward. All right, one, two, three.